Ooh, whoa, what the heck? What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD Blind. And holy crap, that is such a long title. Oh, the look in your eye. So you find yourself a sail, have you? Very well, then I shall teach you the art of sailing. The art of sailing. Come next to my hull and press A to climb over. Hoist your sail and get. You got with A to get moving. The sail will catch the wind, which will push the boat forward. The up arrow that or the arrow that in, that appears behind me indicates the wind direction. Use blah 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 to steer. If you wish to move quickly, you should keep the wind blowing directly to the sail. You can always press B to put away the sail. Try it when you want to adjust your speed. Did you understand all that? No. Please explain to me all. You're just kidding. <laughs> ah, one more thing. When you are out at sea with a few landmarks to go by, you will be at the mercy of your sea chart. Uh, speaking of which, I really need to get a Wii U Pro Controller, guys. I promise I'll do that for next recording session. I gotta do it. I've marked the place we should currently be heading for on your sea chart. If you lost at sea, you select Map displayed on the Wii U gamepad to open up the sea chart. You can also pause the game with Plus and confirm your position. Now, a westerly wind blows. Hop in and let us carry let it carry us to the east. Yay! So, yeah, I just logged in, guys. I would not have normally started a recording on a conversation. <laughs> That didn't mean to happen, that just where it spawned me when I logged in. Ah, I want to break all the flowers. Yay. So, um, this last time I'll be at Windfall for a little while. So let's take one little last look-see at everything around us. Look, it's so beautiful. Gosh, dog, dig it, dang it. Yeah, all right. Well, well, there's actually one thing I could do here, which would be involved talking to that guy, and it would involve these pigs. But we'll do that one day. Wait a minute, I want to try one thing. One thing I haven't done yet. Since I got this game, and that that includes also in the past failed recordings. C can I please? I just wanna. 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 Yeah. Oh, I thought. It, dang it. I thought I pissed. No, no, don't run to the water. <laughs> oh no, don't run to the water, asshole. I don't know if his anger resets. If you hit him enough, something happens. There we go. <laughs> oh God. Oh god, I'm getting my first game over! Oh no, I forgot I was in hero mode! What have I done? <laughs> they give up. Oh god, they're still after me! Oh my god, the music stopped! Okay, I was gonna say, this is like in the first game, right? Where. What? They all look the same. I, I thought they were all different. Oh god. At least I'm not getting a beep. That's really good. Maybe they turned it off for hero mode? Because they knew you wouldn't be getting too many hearts. Anyway, let's jump in the boat. Okay, so, if you guys have played the original Wind Waker game, well, actually, you can cruise forward a bit, so this is without the sails, so you can move a little bit if you don't feel like using your sails, especially useful if you're just kind of getting to a specific uh, position. Yeah, this arrow, does, it doesn't point to where you have to go, it points which way the wind is um, pulling us and stuff. So you press A to set sail, which is different from the previous game, because in the previous game, what happened was um, you had to put the item in your in your menu and then or in your one of your X or Y buttons. What the heck was that? Well, it was a little glowing glow that we actually can't do anything with, so I'm gonna ignore it. <laughs> but um, yeah, you had to put it in your item slot in the last game, and then that was the only way to use your sail. I like this a lot better because you don't have to waste an item slot every time you want to go sailing. You jump with ZR. Ooh, look at the little barrels. And this is one of the big reasons why people seem to hate this game. It's all the sailing. As you can probably see, there's a lot of distance between islands. Ooh. Ooh, is that an island right there? Oh man, well, I guess we'll go there eventually. But honestly, this is the reason why I love this game, is because all like the there's so little things going on, and I love that. I don't know why. It's I feel like it is a bit weird for me to like that. What is I see some oh that might be a beetle ship actually. Now, I feel like that is kind of a weird thing for me to like. The fact that, like, I love the bleakness of the land, but I do. It makes it feel like, it makes the land feel so much more real, I guess. There's a red rupee over there. Oh, no! Oh, I'm used to, I think if you, I think you press A in the last game to get out. What the heck is on my B? Oh, it's my sword. <laughs> I can see, I see the sword on B and it looked, it didn't look like my sword. There's a guy right here. Sneak up to him. Sneak up to him. Let's, let's sniff his telescope. <laughs> That's not my sister's telescope! It's actually pretty hard to kill these guys without knocking them off to the ocean. See what I'm talking about? <laughs> and yeah, of course, you get no reward for that. I'm kind of a little bit sad. I'm not going to get a heart here. Hmm, 
probably pissing off those pigs is not a good idea. I didn't plan to actually get hit by them, but I forgot they even did so much damage. I also forgot I was in hero mode. So yeah, there's these little ships everywhere throughout the sea. I don't really think there's anything on any of them, but they're just another little thing for you to just kind of enjoy. Um, yeah, TTA. There is an island over there that I could have went to, but I'm just going to save that for later. Our goal is that island right there, that giant mountain, by the way. But yeah, there's just something about this game. Like, I love, like, how much sailing there is and how... No, oh, dang, I keep pressing the wrong button. I'm so used to the last game for some reason. <laughs> I just, I just kind of like the bleakness of it just because it makes it feel so much more real. It makes the world feel so much more alive to me. Just because this is how the real world is, right? There's a lot of emptiness in between places. Well, at least in Canada it is. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot more smaller countries that are have much higher population that don't have nearly as much, like, open wideness as... Uh, my life has contained. Oh, holy crap. How'd you guys see me? You guys were not supposed to see me. Oh, oh good. Oh, great. They're both dead. <laughs> yeah, these are, uh, oh, what are these called? Outpost watchtowers? Something like that? I'm actually not entirely sure. There's a whole bunch of these in the world. Most of them don't contain much. I think one of them actually contains a heart piece at some point. And a lot of them just kind of, most of them contain just kind of useless treasure. It doesn't really matter. Don't know why I'm even hitting these. There's not going to be anything in them, Chris. Oh, although, actually, sometimes there can be things like joy pendants in these just to kind of give you a little extra reward. Hey, yeah, there's another um, floaty float boat. <laughs> the floaty float boat. Yeah, most of them will just contain like little things like poops. What is Oh, that's a seagull. Man, I love this game, guys. Just look at how freaking amazing this Link is not impressed, though. <laughs> this game, that's his worn out face. Oh, I don't. Oh, man. I'm really happy that I got my um, 1080p 60 frames per second working on this let's play because honestly it's just so beautiful I'm happy I could like properly display this to you guys oh, I'm so happy for that so happy to finally have like top-notch recording gear I thought my last HD PVR was top-notch but it turned out it's not really HD it goes up to 480p which is not HD so stupid I got kind of ripped off with that but by the time I figured that out I already had it for a very long time and at that time, I didn't really care that much either because most of the games I was playing were just, you know, it was just all Wii games and stuff I didn't really care that much for. Or, not really care that much for, but I mean, the quality didn't really matter as much to me. You know, as I got this, like, the entire point of it is to make it look beautiful. So it certainly looks freaking beautiful. Hmm. See, my very first recording that I was talking to you guys about, the very last point I got to was Dragon Roost Island. When I got there, I stopped moving, and that's exactly what we're going to right now, by the way. So once we get there, it'll be completely blind from there on out again. Going back to blind, I should say. I really like how the ocean changes too. Like these waves and like the big swells that it has. Oh, it's so beautiful. I can't get over it, guys. I'm like organisming over it. Yes, I really, yes, I did mean to say organizing. Organ, organ, I didn't mean to say it like that, but. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Look at this beauty. You can't even see it. You can't even see the top of the mountain. Oh, you can't. Whoa, what? Is this up at the top of there? What? What is that? There, on the horizon. I would not even say that's on the horizon there, Mr. King of Red Lions. As our destination link, Dragon Roost Island. No, camera start off kind of angled there for a second. It was weird. So beautiful. Look, it's just a giant rock. It's like Death Mountain. It is very Death Mountain looking, isn't it? High atop this mountain peak lives the spirit of the skies. It's the spirit of the skies. A great dragon named uh, by the name of Valu. Interesting. And plug I care. <laughs> you must go see the dragon request from him. A jewel called Din's Pearl. Hey, look at the bottle. Ask people of the Rito tribe who inhabit this island about how to see the dragon. Oh, I almost forgot. Wait a moment. Oh, good lord. I just want to have freaking... Ah, let me do stuff. This is the Wind Waker. It is a baton of sorts that is used long ago by the people who played music and prayer of the gods. In those days, simply using it allowed want to borrow the power of the gods, but I do not know if it still works. Really, that sounds very not reliable. <laughs> even so, I thought it might be of some use to you. Perhaps you should try using it. How very specific. Where are we even keeping that, dude? There's nowhere for you to hold it. First, connect it three fourths time. Do not touch L. Uh, just match. Yeah, match the rhythm. Yay! So, what a lot of people, including myself, did not know about in this game was you see the top thing there? Where like the the air or the yellow up moves around, everyone th thought, including me, that you like you have to uh, match it up perfectly for when it like hits the middle part. But you don't. Know, all you have to do is hold the button, 
and then went, oops, I did not do that right. Hold the button, and then as when it goes over, it'll automatically input it. So it's fine. You don't have to line it up like that. Very nice. I'll split it. Next is four fourth time. Hold L to change the rhythm. Oh my good lord. Alright, so yeah. You hold left, you can go to the four fourths and then six fourths. This is not very this is not used very much in this game. This one's used quite a bit, this one's used a lot. Actually, I wonder if four fourths might be used more than um, three fourths. I'm not entirely sure. I don't really know about music, so if I'm like using that phrase three fourths and four fourths wrong, I apologize. That's it, Link. That was not bad for your first time using the Wind Waker. Not bad at all. <laughs> yeah, first time. Whoa, look at his shadow. It's all oddly fat. <laughs> you can also connect it six fourths time by tilting it all to the right. You would do well to remember that. <laughs> no. You can receive the legendary Wind Waker. By using this mythical conductor's baton, you can borrow the power of the gods. Use R to conduct. So we're essentially, now we have the power of the gods. Great. Uh, yeah, that's more explanations. Yeah. Yay, I got a bottle, and yeah, um, <laughs> this one's from Jan, from the Force Haven, and she says, how do you post pictures? That's it. <laughs> it's pretty great. What's this say? I'm trying to read. Danger. Do you like attack the explosive fruit? What? And I would actually attack it once for the fact I was almost dead. So I'm kind of surprised I haven't been seeing more bottles, to be honest. Um... When I played this game last, I I saw two at like those uh, little ships we were at, and I saw another one at the other ship, and then I saw like two, like just in the water, just around Dragon Moose Island. And then after I read those, I quit, I believe. So yeah, at this from this point on, guys, I have not seen any of this game. Okay, that's freaking fantastic. Not and that includes reading this sign. Up. What the balls does that mean? I don't freaking know. Ooh. I don't think we could really reach that, and I don't think we're going to be able to throw any bombs or rocks. Oh my god, what the heck is a bomb flower? <gasps> <laughs> so yeah, these are the freaking world famous bomb flowers. And yeah, if you attack them with your sword, they do go off almost immediately. You get, some, you get a little bit of leeway time in case, like, you know, you accidentally did it or something. Whoa, so why the heck are these rocks even here? I mean, you'd think someone would have cleared these out or something. Was this recent? Did all these rocks fall from the mountain? Oh, I guess that's a good... Uh, possibility. Ooh, we can also go this way. Wind shrine, mail center. Okay, well, I mean, let's go check out the mail center. Wait a minute, mail center. We know a mailman. All right, I don't think we go this way. We know a mailman, don't we? Maybe he'll be here? Question mark. Do, do you guys remember the mailman? I don't know. I'm not gonna be more specific than say mailman because I kind of don't want to give it away in the event you did forget. Right. Do we, is that the bomb we got to throw up here? Really? Oops. I, I guess so. This might end badly. This might end very badly. <laughs> hey, it didn't end badly at all. I remember having a lot of troubles with that. But apparently not today. Today is not this day or that day or the day. It might be the day. It might be V day. <gasps> it might be Z day for Zelda day, you know? Okay, Siddle. I forgot the button for that. <laughs> all right, here we go. One of the few times we're going to use a Siddle in this game. I kind of feel like Siddle was just to kind of give the game more flair in the beginning before he got a bunch of items and they could be more creative with that. Because seriously, you don't really, besides like a lot of the starting islands, you don't really use Siddling that much. Oh, great. Oh, man. I was like, oh, maybe that'll have enough range. And I really like how there's like a target on the bottom of this flower. Like, look at that. That looks really freaking cool, in my opinion. I don't think that was close enough. Oh, hey, look, it was. Yay, and you know what? Let's create this shortcut now. There was a guy down here before in the last game, but maybe he's not there anymore. Hmm, that's weird. Kinda, I'm kind of a little bit scared because I've been seeing a lot of things that like that used to be side quests but aren't side quests anymore in this game or something, so I'm kind of scared they took out some of those or all of them. That sucked. Good morning! Welcome to the Postal Service. What do you have for del delivery? So yeah, those guys never say anything useful. <gasps> Hey, look! It's the mailman! Or the merman. <laughs> I should stop saying that. Link? Oh, wait, no, he had a British accent, didn't he? Link? Link, is that you? It is! I'm pleased to see you're okay. I must say, you traveled far for one with no wings. And your sister? Is she. Mm, is that so? 
Well, don't worry too much. I'm sure she'll hang in there. <laughs> yeah, she's imprisoned by, like, the most evil man in the world and a whole bunch of, like, pig monsters and rats. Yeah, I'm sure she'll be fine. I have an idea, Link. Would you like to meet our chieftain? I've told my people here about you, and all of us we are very concerned. I'm certain the chieftain will befriend you and lend you the aid of our airy. I love that word, the airy. It's so cool. It's settled then. I'll fly on ahead and let everyone know you're coming. Come inside, Link. I'll be waiting. No, you won't. Look at that. Can you just like, can I just hold on to your feet or something? I want to fly too. I have dreams of flying all the time. I mean, when you're kind of sailing on a ship, it's kind of like you're flying. But it's like, you're because you're kind of flying on water, you know, it's like the water's the sky. Yeah. <laughs> hearts, give me hearts. Oh wait, I'm not going to get any because I'm freaking god dang yeah, hero mode. I don't think there's any anything to buy in here. If only you could buy like hearts from Beetle Ship or something. Ooh. This place looks all spiffy. Actually, it doesn't look that much different from the GameCube game. Oh, good lord. Well, have you discovered the cause of the Great Vulnu's anger? I guess I don't all have to have British accents. I was going to try and give them all, but that, that'd be too hard. Ah, so you're a Link, are you? I was thinking I should like, give these guys all nasally voices because they're big beats. <laughs> Quill has told me all about you. A troubling tale, indeed. I insist that you, you let us know if there's anything we do to help you. We shall do everything in our power to assist you. However, in the meantime, we have a problem with our own to deal with. <laughs> I like how he has a beard. Like, imagine birds with beards. <laughs> when you arrived Drake, uh, on the island, did you notice that the raging dragon pierced the top of the mountain? I don't know if that was him or Quill. It was Pand of Quill, so I'm going to assume it was Quill. As you can see, we of the Rito tribe are profoundly connected to the sky. We make our living on the airways. We do so by the graces of the Sky Spirit, Falu. When a Rito reaches adulthood, he or she journeys atop the Dragon Roost to receive a scale from the Great Dragon. It is the scale that enables the Rito to grow his or her wings. That's really weird, but okay. That sounds painful for the Dragon, too. Recently, however, the once gentle Falu has grown violent and unpredictable. That's weird! It's like you'd imagine it's a freaking Dragon, so you'd imagine it to be an evil asshole that we have to fight. But no, he's a good guy. Sadly, we can no longer approach him. If this continues, the fledglings who are of age will never be able to receive scales from Valu on Dragon Roost. They will remain wingless, and in time, our very way of life will be threatened. As Chief Dinner of the Rito, my first responsibility is to solve this problem. My apologies, but I must ask you to wait for assistance until this is done. Will you do so? No, <laughs> I like how I don't even give me the option there. They didn't feel like putting up with my sass. Chieftain, oh wait. Chieftain, what do you think of consulting Link with the regards to your son, Prince Kamali? As you can see, Link is a gallant young lad. I feel certain that Prince Kamali would open his heart to him and speak freely of his fears and worries. That may be. Let me be direct. My son, Kamali, is of age to earn his wings. Yet, he is weak in some ways. And in light of the current situation, he may just give up on ever getting them. What say you? Will you share some of your courage with my son? Will you meet with my son? Aw, oh, hell no! I ain't no babysitter! I thank you. We shall do our best to solve our problem as quickly as possible so that we may better help with you with yours. I have something I wish for you to give to my son. A young girl named Medley is holding it for me. Would you find her and take it? I am counting on you. What do you mean you're counting on me? You just met me! What the man? What the heck, man? What the man, heck? Hey, Link, take this with you. Who knows? It may come in handy. Another bag? You got the delivery bag! Finely crafted bags like this are used by Rito Postman everywhere. With so many pockets, it could hold many items. Select it on the item screen, and yeah. Yeah, press the items to see what's inside. <laughs> should wait for me or, You should wait for Medley in one of the upper rooms or find her or something. Leave the great value to us. In the meantime, do your best to aid Prince Kamali. Holy crap, guys, we're in the mail post office. And I'm still, uh, <laughs> like, during that entire conversation, I'm like, God, extra. I kind of faked being okay. Oh, this guy looks weird. Ow, you, you're you the fledgling the chieftain mentioned, aren't you? I feel as though I should tell you, despite what he may seem right now, young Master Kamali is quite a pleasant child. His father, the chieftain, is quite busy, but Kamali's never once complained. Though I'm sure he's been lonely at times. He's the chieftain's son, though, and though, through and through. However, his grandma, pa 
Grand blah blah. His grandmother passed recently. Kabali seems lost. His confidence is gone. His grandmother was always with him, you see. A great, great woman. <coughs> that sparkling ball that the young master keeps with him was actually a gift from the great Valu to Kabali's grandmother. That's adorable. Don't know what any of that means, even though it's actually all pretty significant to the story, but you know. If you want to get Dragon Roost Cavern, I've got some bad news for you. I've got 99 problems with Bitch 8-1. The bridge is out, and there's no way to even get inside. I'm sure you'll understand once you've seen it yourself. I was going to try and give these guys all nasally voices, but you know what? That's way too much effort. As for swimming across, well, you need water for that, and the pond's all dried up. No need to panic, though. I'm sure the chieftain will think of something. It's weird that he would think of swimming. It was like they're birds. I don't think they would ever swim. <coughs> Can I get up there? What is that? I can't climb up there, can I? Ooh, I can. I must reach those letters! Oh, I could totally make that if I really wanted to. Do I really want to? I don't think I do. Also, my toe hurts a lot. Uh, wait. Oh, wait. No, uh, you know what? That leads to Prince Kamali's room. We'll be going down there soon anyways. Um, I guess it's actually a good spot to end. Whoa, look at the symbol on the ground. I don't know what it's supposed to be. It just looks like a big mess to me, but... I mean, it look, still looks pretty cool. <laughs> it's really complicated, though. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. It's almost right here. It almost looks like the Gorn's Ruby or something. Um, in the next episode, we'll explore Dragon Roost Cavern Island, the, the post office home. You know, this place. We'll explore all the great rooms. Oh, I realize there's two doors here. Well, crap. I guess, yeah, I, I thought that was the main entrance, but apparently this is... Alright, yeah, in the next episode, we will check out here, and actually, we might even make it to our first dungeon of the game, and it'll be fantastic. Okay, okay, great. Talk to you guys later. Goodbye!